Lisa King. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me today. Of course, you know that I bring you videos of wisdom and encouragement. And today's lesson is titled, We Wrestle Not Against Flesh and Blood. And I'll be taking this from Ephesians 6, 12. For you know the King James Version. It says, uh, for we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, powers, spiritual wickedness in high places. And I'm going to um, basically say this scripture um, from the English Standard Version. Again, it says, for our struggle is not against flesh and blood. We don't contend against uh, physical opponents or human beings, but against rulers, against the powers, against the world forces of this present uh, darkness against the spiritual forces of wickedness in heavenly places or supernatural places. And so there are demonic powers set up to control the minds of a nation or people to cause them to serve the enemy, Satan. And so these systems are governmental systems, economical systems, educational systems, entertainment systems, media and airway systems, and religious systems. These are six of the systems where uh, demonic powers set themselves up, principalities and powers, to try to rule over a nation or a people. Uh, here's what we need to do to stand against and cast down these principalities and powers. In Ephesians 6, verse 13 through 18, it says, therefore put on the complete armor, the full armor of God, so that you'll be able to stand successfully, resist and stand your ground in the evil day or the day of danger, having done everything in this particular situation or crisis to stand firm in your place, prepared immovable and victorious. And it goes on to say, so stand firm and hold your ground, having tightened the band or the belt of truth. That's number one, personal integrity, moral courage. And number two, we're to, tight, we're to tighten that around our waist, the belt of truth. And number two, having put on the breastplate of righteousness, an upright heart in right standing with God. Number three, and having strapped on your feet the gospel of truth in preparation to face the enemy and with firm-footed stability and readiness produced by the good news. Okay, that's number three. Number four, above all, lift up the protective shield of faith, which you can extinguish all the flaming arrows of the evil one. And take on, number five, the helmet of salvation. Satan will try to hit you with uh, directly with blows that will attack, you, uh, attack your security and assurance in Christ Jesus. And he will try to bring that discouragement and doubt and that kind of thing. But you have uh, your helmet of salvation in which Christ Jesus died on the cross for us. He provided everything that we would ever need on that cross. And so this particular part of your helmet, definitely you want to put that on. And then the last one is the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. We're to pray at all times in the spirit uh, with all prayer and supplication uh, to that end and to keep alert with all perseverance, um, making supplication for all saints. And here are six components to the full armor of God. Uh, putting on the armor every single day is essential to stand up against the principalities and powers. But here's some specifics according to uh, the scriptures that we just read, Ephesians 6, uh, verses 13 through 18. So we're to put on that full armor, number one. We're to pray, uh, number two. Pray with specific request, 
petitioning God, interceding at all times or in all occasions, uh, in every season uh, for God's people. You, you want to pray for your government and you want to pray for those five systems that I talked about um, that I mentioned uh, at the very beginning of this lesson. Uh, so you're, you, you need to contend with the principalities and powers that we are wrestling with uh, in our world. Uh, number three, pray in the spirit. Pray in your heavenly language. That's extremely important, especially uh, now, right now. Number four, stay alert, watchful quick to notice any unusual and potentially dangerous or difficult circumstances. Be vigilant. Number five, persevere. Continue in a course of action, even in the face of difficulties. Stay in strength and endure to the end. So again, these are some specific things that you can do. Again, to wrestle against the principalities and powers uh, that we are wrestling with currently, even in our nation right now. So the scripture that comes to my mind for today is found in Luke 10, 19. God has given us all power over the power of the enemy, power to tread upon serpents and scorpions, principalities and powers, and nothing shall by in any means harm us. He has given us that authority and power as believers to be victorious over our enemy, Satan. And so I just uh, thank you so much, uh, guys, for listening to me today. Always uh, make sure that you hit that bell notification so that you don't miss any of my videos and definitely subscribe to this channel. Well, I love you and I thank you so much for joining me today. May the Lord bless you and keep you. I love you always. Thank you. Bye. Thank you so much.